Welcome to Heinrich Heine University Düsseldorf. In this video, we're going to take you on a tour of the campus and show you the most important locations and contacts for your studies. You will find out which facilities are responsible for your various needs and where to find them. HHU is a campus university, meaning that almost all of its facilities are located in one place, which in turn means for you that everything is close by and the place has a special flair. We'll start our tour at the so-called Oase. This is the German word for oasis, and the building is a location for exchange, study and development. It houses the medical library, as well as study and teaching rooms. There's a sky lounge on the top floor with large armchairs and a great view over the city. You can use the Oase even if you aren't studying medicine. A little further on, you can find the offices of the Studierendenwerk Student Support Service Organization, which takes care of the halls of residence and all the facilities on campus that offer food. For example, it operates the main HHU canteen, where students can obtain low-priced lunches. The Studierendenwerk also provides advice on ways to finance your studies, such as funding under the Federal Training Assistance Act, known as BAföG, and student loans, as well as dealing with authorities and government offices and agencies. If you have children, you will surely be interested to know that the Studierendenwerk also operates a number of childcare facilities. If you go past the halls of residence and over the bridge, you will come to the Student Services Centre, or SSC for short. This is your first point of contact for lots of questions relating to your studies. For example, the staff here can help you with applications for a study place, enrolment, and later on, with formalities during your studies and exams. You can also pay your semester fee, request a new HHU card, and submit or collect documents here. Many administrative matters during your studies can now be handled digitally, such as changing to a different subject, applying for a leave of absence, or exam-related formalities. The staff at the SEC are also happy to answer any further questions you may have. The International Office is also located in the SSC. In addition, this building houses the General Study Counselling Service, the Psychological Counselling Service and the Coaching Service, which offers advice on various topics such as learning strategies, organising your studies or doubts about your studies. If you would like to learn more about what the SCC offers, we recommend you watch our video Welcome to the Student Services Centre. The medical preclinical facilities are located in this building. This is where medical students are trained for their clinical work. Inside, you can find large lecture theatres and, in the rear section, also laboratories and the anatomy and dissection areas. Opposite this building, you can see the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. The faculty was established in 1969. In terms of area, it is the largest faculty at HHU and also includes the largest lecture theatre, the Audimax, which has 659 seats. By the way, a faculty offers various study programmes and each study programme has its own student representatives who form a committee, a Fachschaft. Among other things, they hold introductory events to help you organise your studies. For example, they show you how to create your timetable. The student representatives also arrange many social activities such as parties. You can find out how to contact your student representatives at hhudeen Termina. Now we're going to head south to the Ökonomikum. The Ökonomikum is the newest building on campus. The modern glass structure contains offices and some of the seminar rooms belonging to the Faculty of Business Administration and Economics. When the weather is good, you can enjoy the view over the small lake. If you were to walk round behind the lake to the road, you would find the bus stop Universität Mitte. Buses that stop here can take you to many areas of the city, including the centre. However, we're going to stay on campus and take a look at the University and State Library next. Known as the ULB for short, it offers books to help you with your term papers, as well as rooms where you can study and work. The staff can also provide advice on literary resources. The library is considered one of the best in Germany due to its extensive range of books and excellent service. The central library is open every day except public holidays. To the south of the library, you can find the Student Academy. 
Here you can study subjects that are not directly part of your course, such as foreign languages or various soft skills that can help you during your studies and later on in your career. Next door, you can find the General Students Committee, known as ASTA for short. Together with the student representatives, the committee champions the interests of students. It also organises events, funds student projects and offers an advice service. In the same complex in buildings 25 and 26, you can also find the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences. The main subjects in Building 25 are Computer Science, Mathematics and Physics, while you can find Chemistry and Biology, together with numerous laboratories in Building 26. Further south, you can find the Centre for Information and Media Technology, or SIM for short. The Centre provides support in all IT-related matters, including your HHU accounts, university email and Wi-Fi. Opposite the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, you can find the Juridicum, which accommodates the Faculty of Law. This is one of the smaller faculties on campus. The round section of the building houses the Faculty's modern specialist library. Further east, you will come to the stop Universität Ost. From here, you can take a tram directly to Düsseldorf Main Station. The Botanical Garden is located right next door. It serves teaching and research purposes for the biology and pharmacy departments and all students can of course use the beautiful garden for leisure purposes. You can even discover exotic plants in the domed greenhouse. To the north of the botanical garden you can find the facilities of the University Sports Association. This association offers courses in a wide range of different sports which are largely free of charge for students. Our campus tour ends here. We hope it has helped you gain a good overview of the various facilities here at HHU. You can find a PDF map of the campus at HHUDEEN Campus Plan. We wish you every success with your studies.